So for those wondering about gift gaff refurbished devices and whether you should consider buying with them, I thought I'd share my experience with you guys. So as an avid follower of Hot UK Deals, I often see many devices on sale from gift gaff's refurbished site. Now gift gaff as a provider has been pretty decent for me in the past, but I've always been wary of refurbished devices because I had a pretty bad experience with Amazon Renews, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Anyways, as a quick summary, the phone was not in the description they described, and the display was a replacement that quickly went faulty, so that was a huge mess. And when I saw the insane deals GifGaff offered, I was thinking there had to be a catch. And so I took the plunge and bought the iPhone SE3 for £200. It was the 128 gig variant in like new condition, and I was wanting a spare iPhone as a B-roll camera anyways, so I might as well take the risk buying this. And by the way, would like to remind you guys, like this video and subscribe for more content like this, it would be appreciated. Now the first big positive was the fast delivery. I got this the next day in the morning. So this phone was in my hands within 24 hours. And as long as the next day is in the weekend, you should get your phone immediately. And once I got the phone, the packaging was pretty simple. It came in a brown box and you open it up, you get the phone, a SIM card ejector pin, and also first party cable, so that's pretty nice. I do wanna mention, by the way, that you have to get a SIM with this if you're already not with GiveGaff and want to buy one of these devices, but do not worry, it's just a regular £10 SIM that's pay as you go, so of course, there's no credit check, and you can cancel this pretty easily. I've also seen some mention online they've managed to get refunds on the SIM by talking to customer service. I unfortunately was not aware of this, but I'm glad to hear that's the case if you don't need the SIM. Now coming to the main parts, how was the device? Obviously this is supposed to be in like new condition, so I expected a phone that looks flawless. And you know what? It actually was. I wiped it down because it was initially covered in dust and was possibly in storage for a few weeks. But this honestly looks brand new. I put it under harsh lights and saw no scratches or dents. And I also checked the battery health. It's thankfully 100% and there's Apple warranty till next year, so this phone has only been recently activated. And so yes, I was quite surprised at the quality of the device, considering this was pretty cheap for a third gen SE with 128 gigs of storage. But no, GifGaff, you have delivered, well done. And actually looking at what others have said on Hot UK Deals, it seems some very lucky people actually got completely brand new sealed devices, which I can't lie, I'm a little jelly about, but I won't complain because ultimately I ordered this knowing it would not be completely brand new and the device is in excellent condition. What's also great is that you have a 12 month warranty on this if you do have any issues with the device and you also get 21 days to return this, no questions asked, which is also pretty nice. Obviously considering I still have the phone, I did not try to return this, but from what I've seen online, people have had no issues returning their devices. In the off chance, the quality of the device is substandard. So yes, you should be able to get your money back pretty quickly. So that's everything guys. And this is a pretty simple and short video because I really have nothing to complain about. And as promised, I have a like new SE that works. So huge thumbs up to GifGaff. I can definitely recommend people buy from them in the near future. They actually do sales pretty often. So if you're thinking of buying a new iPhone or Android device, you could save a little and go with one of their refurbished devices because they honestly are just as good as a brand new device. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. And thank you for watching.